Hi there, this video we're going to quickly look at a question where you are in a situation where you are supposed to find the height of a cylinder but they give you the volume and the radius. Okay, So they give you that information but they're asking you to find the height. So it's kind of like it's kind of like working backwards because generally you have to find the volume of a cylinder and they give you all this information, the radius and the height. In this situation they've given you the volume and you have to work backwards. Okay, So let's do that right now. What is the height of a cylinder? Remember a cylinder looks like this. Okay, It's kind of like a like a can. Okay, what is They want to know the height of this thing and they've given us the volume. So you start by writing the formula down which I put at the very top of the page as you can see. Pi is 3.14 r squared means r times r times the height. They've given us the volume, so we're going to write that in. 4, 4, 2, 1. Pi is 3.14. The radius they've given us as 8, okay? So they've given us the radius of 8, and we're supposed to find the height. This is the part we don't know. Okay, here's a quick way to solve this. We try to First of all, let's figure out what is pi times 8 squared. Let's use a calculator right now. What is 3.14 times 8 times 8? Remember, squared means 8 times 8, okay? And there is a button on a calculator right here, which is, it says x squared, which will do that automatically. I just did it so that you could see what was going on. And if you multiply this all out, you get 200.96. H. And then 4421 is our volume. If you remember to get rid of this, when you, when you multiply two numbers together, to get the H all by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 200.96 to get the H all by itself. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. 200.96 and I'm definitely going to need a calculator. So remember, this will cancel. It'll just become a 1. So h will look like it's all by itself because there's an invisible 1 here now. And hey, we don't have to show the 1. But what this part here, we definitely need a calculator to do that because I don't have time to sit and do it the long way. 4421 divided by 200.96. Let's round it off to the nearest decimal. What that will do is it'll actually make this thing round off to 22. Okay, because see all the nines there? It's going to round off to 22. 22 what? It's centimeters, people. Okay, so the height of this cylinder is 22 centimeters. And if you were doing this in a perfect world, you would say a sentence answer. You'd say the height of the cylinder is 22 centimeters. And remember, you don't need a squared here or a cubed here because we are talking about a length, just a length from here to here, 22 centimeters. If you would like questions on cylinders, make sure you check out my other videos on uh, all the other shapes that you might find out there, prisms, cylinders, spheres, etc. Okay, and I will do another video on how to find the radius if they give you the volume. Okay, I'll do that next. Have a great day, everyone.